Hi humans, I want to dedicate this video to all the people suffering from diseases and silence. We see you, we love you, and we wish you all the goodness in this world. And now, here are some horrible DNA mutations. Number 1. Field Syndrome Mutation Most genetic disorders come with a name, a gene, a mechanism, something to blame, not this one. Fields' syndrome is the mystery meat of medical genetics, a real condition backed by symptoms, documented by doctors, and still completely unexplained. So far, only two people have ever had it. Two sisters in the UK, that's it. No other cases, no family history, no trail to follow. So what does it do? Muscles, shut down. Speech, slurred into silence. Mobility, gone. Every movement, twisted by spasms and weakness. But mentally, they're still there, watching it happen trapped inside a glitching body while their brain remains sharp, alert, horrified. Doctors did everything. Scans, blood work, biopsies, full genome sequencing. Result? Nothing. No known gene, no detectable mutation, no explanation, no name on the villain. Field syndrome mutation isn't just rare, it's a ghost. A disease that exists without evidence, cripples without reason, and leaves science standing in the dark empty-handed. You'd think the scariest part is the muscle failure, the pain, the loss of control. But no, the scariest part is this. It's still out there, and we have no idea what it is, or who it's coming for next. It's not just a disorder, it's an unsolved genetic crime scene with no fingerprints, no suspect, and only two victims who live the nightmare. Number 2. Progeria Mutation You're five years old, but your joints ache your hair's falling out, your body's aging like it's rushing to file for retirement. This is progeria, a rare, brutal condition caused by a mutation in the LMNA gene, the gene responsible for producing lamin A, a protein that helps hold your cells together like internal scaffolding. When that protein breaks, your body loses structural integrity at cellular speed, and suddenly, childhood becomes a biological fast-forward button Kids with progeria don't get to grow up, they age up. Wrinkled skin by kindergarten, joint pain before they can ride a bike, arteries hardening like they've lived eight decades by age eight. They develop conditions you'd expect in the elderly, osteoporosis, cardiovascular disease, stroke risk, but with the mind of a child, with no mental decline, they're smart, aware, present, which makes it so much worse because they understand exactly what's happening. They can feel time slipping away, not by the year, but by the heartbeat. There's no cure, no reversal, no slowdown button, just treatments to delay the inevitable, to buy a little more time on a body with an accelerating expiration date. Life expectancy, early teens, maybe 20s, with medical miracles. Progeria isn't just a disease, it's a time lapse trapped inside a child. A cruel biological mutation that turns playgrounds into waiting rooms and birthdays into funeral countdowns. Number three, Huntington's disease mutation. You're in your 30s, maybe 40s. Life's good, stable job, family, hobbies. You figured some things out. Then your brain flips a switch and says, okay, time to start falling apart. This is Huntington's disease. A genetic time bomb caused by a mutation in the HTT gene. It's inherited, dominant, and inescapable. If a parent has it, you have a 50-50 shot of carrying the mutation. And if you do, it becomes a matter of when. It starts quietly, mood swings, a little clumsiness. You drop a glass, you forget a word, tiny cracks. Then they spread, jerky involuntary movements, memory loss, paranoia, depression, dementia. And the worst part? You're still aware. You watch it happen, piece by piece, thought by thought. Your brain begins to misfire, your neurons eating themselves, and you can't stop it. No cure, no rewind, just a slow, helpless descent. It's like watching your mind rot from the inside, knowing exactly what's happening and being powerless to stop it. Huntington's doesn't kill quickly. It lingers. It takes its time. You don't go out in a blaze. You go out in slow, painful pixels as your identity dissolves, one corrupted frame at a time. This isn't just a disease. 
It's a generational curse dressed in a gene, passed like a haunted heirloom from parent to child, with no mercy. Number four, Uner Tan syndrome mutation. Most babies crawl, then walk, then run. It's the standard upgrade path. But with Uner Tan syndrome mutation, the system never finishes installing. So you crawl forever. You move on all fours, not as a phase, but as a permanent setting. This ultra-rare condition is caused by recessive mutations in genes that affect brain development, particularly in areas responsible for balance, coordination, and motor control. The result? Your brain skips key parts of the human blueprint. It boots into proto-human beta mode, like it's loading a prehistoric save file from two million years ago. Balance? Gone. Upright posture? Not happening. Language? Minimal to none. Coordination, primitive. Those with Uner Tan syndrome mutation walk on all fours for life, with a bear-like gait that feels more Neanderthal than modern Homo sapiens. It's not just about movement, it's a total neurological rewind, cognitive delays, almost no verbal communication, and a body that moves like it remembers something ancient, like your DNA whispered, let's try this earlier version of human again. It's been seen in only a handful of families worldwide, yet it's made scientists rethink everything they thought they knew about human evolution, motor learning, and brain development. This isn't just a mutation, it's a genetic rollback, a raw glimpse into what happens when nature undoes progress, and your body becomes a living echo from a time before civilization. Number 5. Harlequin Ichthyosis Mutation you're born wrapped in armor, not a metaphor, literal armor. Thick, cracked plates of skin covering every inch of your body, like you were carved from stone by a sculptor in a rush. This is Harlequin ichthyosis, a rare and devastating mutation in the ABCA12 gene, the one responsible for forming your skin barrier, the thing that keeps moisture in and danger out. When this gene fails, your body tries to make skin and ends up building fortress walls instead. Dry, hard, inflexible. And when those walls shift, they split open, deep enough to bleed, to scar, to invite infection with every breath. Newborns with this condition look like statues trying to come alive, eyes bulging, lips pulled tight, fingers and toes twisted under pressure, the skin stretched to its breaking point, blinking, risky, crying, dangerous. Even breathing can tear the skin, and it doesn't stop. The body keeps trying. It peels, rebuilds, cracks again, a loop of painful self-repair. Like your skin stuck in a reboot cycle it never wanted to start. In the past, survival was rare. Most infants didn't make it past a few days. Now, thanks to intensive care, specialized treatments, and 24-7 vigilance, some live into adulthood, but it's never easy. Every day is a fight against infection, dehydration, overheating, and pain. You're not just managing dry skin. You're managing an entire surface area that's become a battlefield. One where the front line is your own body, and the enemy is just being alive inside it. Harlequin ichthyosis doesn't just affect how you look. It defines how you move, sleep, breathe, exist. It's not just armor. It's a prison your DNA built from the outside in. Thanks for watching Humans, and thank you for the 10,000 people who subscribed. I appreciate you, and I'll be seeing you next time.